Hi everyone, Patrick McKay of FairUse2.org here. Welcome to the second in a series of video tutorials I'm doing on how to dispute copyright claims under YouTube's Content ID system. This video will cover how to file an appeal for a reinstated copyright claim. This process is to be used when uh, you have already filed an initial dispute on a copyright claim through the Content ID system and the copyright holder has come back and reinstated their copyright claim on your video. So here I am at my video manager page and the first thing you want to do is click on the copyright notices button here to bring up a list of videos with copyright claims against them. And so then I'm going to scroll down to um, this video here. It's the video I disputed in my last tutorial and uh, since that time it has come back and you see right here it says dispute rejected claim has been reinstated. So um, this video was then reblocked on mobile devices which is why I disputed it in the first place. So I'm going to go ahead and appeal that claim and show you what an appeal looks like. So you want to come down here and click I want to appeal a reinstated claim. Brings up this message here. Click continue. Okay, now I haven't actually verified my YouTube account with a cell phone number yet, so I'm going to have to do that now in order to be able to continue with the appeal. Um, people who do not have a cell phone capable of receiving text messages or live in another country and don't have one of the supported providers may have to um, purchase a prepaid phone or something like that in order to be able to do this step. So I'm going to click on verify. Select your country, United States. It has a list of other countries here. So I need to enter in my phone number. And click submit. Next, check your phone for the message from YouTube, enter the code it gives you, and click verify. Okay, my account has been successfully verified. So, not terribly complicated on that. Um, assuming you have a phone that can receive text messages, otherwise you might have trouble with that. So click continue here. Click yes, that is the claim that I want to appeal. Continue. Now I need to write my contact information. Okay, so after I fill out my contact information, I need to scroll down to the bottom of the page here, and because I originally disputed the copyright claim on the basis that my use was fair use, here they actually require you to give a more detailed explanation for exactly why your video is fair use. Um, now this will be kind of tricky for people with no legal training, because they're actually going to require you to go through all the different four statutory factors of a fair use analysis. So I'll try to explain them as best I can here. Um, first, the purpose and character of the use. So um, in this case, my video is an anime music video, so I wrote, the purpose and character of the use is non-commercial transformative use. No money is being earned from the video, and the use of the music in the video qualifies as transformative because it adds new meaning and message to the song. Uh, the nature of the copyrighted work, and this is the nature of the original work, not your use. Um, so because this is uh, a song by the band Nightwish, um, I wrote that it's artistic and put in parentheses that it's a sound recording. That's the official classification under copyright law of this type of work. The amount and uh, substantiality of the portion used, I wrote that I used no more than necessary for the purpose used. Um, and then uh, as far as the effect of the use upon the potential market for or value of the original work, I wrote that there is no negative effect on the value of the original work as my use does not substitute for or compete with the original. Moreover, there is no negative effect on any licensing market for the original song as the major music labels have not provided any means to license music for use in YouTube videos. So, um, and as for how to construct an argument under each one of those for your videos, um, see the, the tutorial on my website um, and the descriptions I have of each of the statutory factors. And you'll just have to um, use that to understand those and then write your own um, description under each of these boxes for um, why your video is fair use under each of these categories. Um, and the way it, fair use works, all of these kind of add together to make a case that your video is fair use. So um, now I'm going to click the acknowledgement here, type my full name as electronic signature.
Next, it just gives you a review page. Scroll down to the bottom and click Appeal. So now my appeal has been successfully submitted, and it says down here, your appeal is waiting response by 12.30, 2012. Um, and so what will happen there is this determines if the music label then wants to file a DMCA notice on my video and have the video taken down that way. If they do that, then I will file a DMCA counter notice and get it restored once again. So at any rate, that is how to use uh, the appeal process for content ID claims. Um, I know it looks really complicated and it might be kind of difficult if you don't understand the concepts involved, especially the factors of fair use. Um, but that's what the tutorial on my website is for, and I am always available for consultations if you need additional help with that. So, good luck, and hope you find this video useful.